Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Um, today's topic's about 12 volt again because I've made a few changes to my 12 volt system. So, let me show you what I've done. Right, so now I've got my cool box located at the back here because I want to plug it into 12 volt. Over the summer and for the past several months, I have been running this through the inverter because this particular model, uh, so this is the 40 litre cool box I got from Halfords, obviously, because it's got a Halfords sticker on it. Um, uh, has an eco mode, but the eco, 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 uh, eco mode only runs in when you're running it off 240 volt. So when it's running in 12 volt, it runs all the time. So a maximum three and a half amps, which is what I can understand pretty accurate because I've been able to see it um, because I'm running it now through the solar controller. Um, unfortunately, the one downside of that is this. Hear that constant hum? Well, I was going to leave it on last night, but when I switched every, when I switched the boat off last night, um, that's all I could hear was this constant hum, which is really annoying. I'd rather just hear um, the sound of rain falling on the roof or complete silence. Um, so I just switched it off. Um, but that is now running out of this. So this is a little panel that I got myself. Um, I was going to put this in the front cabin um and put in lights and all that sort of stuff in the starboard side but never got around to it um and as such um, i've now utilized it for so now i've got 12 volt and usb down the back of the boat um you know because i've got a control panel up there in the center cockpit for all of my uh, my horn and my lights and all that kind of stuff interestingly this uh usb out here uh provides fast charge to my phone which is awesome so, because I used to be able to get that when I plugged it into 240 volt, and that's my 12 volt out, which is now plugged into my cool box. Um, I never take notice of the voltage there. It's so inaccurate. Um, the best way to read voltage on a battery is using one of these, right? So the voltmeter up there says 11.3 volts. Well, that says 11.97 volts. Hmm, which one am I going to believe? Um, and I can now uh, tell the state of charge of a battery just by looking at how many volts it is. I can get that. I can get the batteries down to about 11.4 volts now without the need to recharge. At about 11.4 something volts, uh, the lights go out. So that's to me is a good indication um, of the time when I need to charge my batteries. Um, that's my 2.5 kilowatt inverter uh, with a peak uh, output of 5 kilowatts, but um, I've been running it 24-7, so it's been on constantly while it's been running um, the cool box, uh, my, my computer in standby, that sort of thing. And I swear to God, it has been chewing up the power. Um, so now I actually switch it off and use it sparingly. Um, when I had that on and I was running the cool box through it, I would have to um, use the generator almost every day. So it would run completely down to, to like to empty, and then it would take roughly about six and a half hours. Yeah, about six and a half hours using the generator, uh, charging at 30 amps through my Victron battery charger. Um, yeah, six and a half hours to charge up to about 80%, so that's absorption charge. Um, and I'd be able to do that on about one tank of fuel, which is about 3.9 litres. Uh, and then I'd top it up the generator again and I'd run it for about another half an hour and it would bring it up to float. But now that I've been, now that I've started up using, utilizing more 12 volt, I haven't actually needed to run the generator for around the past four days, which is absolutely awesome. So I've just literally wired that little panel, piggybacked it into the load output on my solar controller. Um, and yeah, just utilizing a lot more 12 volt rather than 240, uh, which is saving me tons of power. Uh, so the only thing I really need it for now is to power my laptop, my TV, the vacuum cleaner. Um, I've got this little column fan here, which is really great for circulating air, but I'm gonna switch that over to a 12 volt fan as well. Um, just again, so I don't have to use the inverter. Cause yeah, um, I thought that was quite efficient inverter, but clearly not. Um, and of course the cool box, well, the cool box has been running all day and it's only just slipped down now to 11.96 volts on the batteries. 
So, and I am getting a little bit of charge um, through the solar, although not much today because it's raining outside and I'll probably get about one amp, maybe one and a half amps. So there you go. Um, lots of really cool changes. a great experiment, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to continue using more 12 volt appliances and that way, well, I have to run the generator maybe once or twice a week now, which is awesome.